I I IIT, not IIT, well IT, which is the Indian Institute of Information and Technology. And a lot of kids prefer some of the top-notch triple ITs over the traditional IITs because triple ITs are very focused on computer science, IT, and related branches. In fact, the placements are so good and top-notch that they beat some of the IITs and the NITs as well. And it's not just few hundreds of seats, but thousands of seats are there. But you should be aware of it. Which kind of triple ITs are there? What are the different tiers? What are the different cutoffs? What are the percentiles and the marks? This is the only video which you will need to watch. I can vouch on that. So let's get started. Make sure you are liking this video. Yes, and hype it up. Come on, guys. I'm doing this all for you and it takes a lot of hard work to make these videos and do not forget to subscribe to your Vedantu J English channel and thank you for making it the number one in the country. So let's begin. My name is Captain Shreyas, your physics master teacher, training, mentoring, guiding kids just like you year over year for the past 13 years. So it's time for you guys to get guided under my mentorship. So let's begin. Now before we start, let me remind you the marks versus percentile, a general idea you should have so that you can make sense of this data. So last and last to last year, January versus April attempt, 99 percentile went to 200 marks. But for the hard shifts, it was 148 marks. 90 percentile was 110 marks out of 300. Whereas the lowest in the hardest, hardest shift was around 72 marks. That was in 2025. 2024 was a little bit easier, you can say. So you can see the highest scores have gone really on the higher side. 2025 was considered slightly tougher. In the April attempt, a similar story was noted. 99 percentile was highest at 203 marks in some particular shift. And the lowest was 172, whereas highest in 90 percentile was 117 and lowest was 91. Now, this data, uh, you can probably take a screenshot. I will just move aside. This might be needed so that you can gauge your performance based on the marks, percentiles and cutoffs. Okay. Now, also I made a separate video just for NITs in case you want to watch it. Check out our channel, Vedantu J English. It is there. But right now, I'm going to focus only on triple ITs. Okay. First of all, there are three tiers of triple ITs that you can broadly classify it as. Tier 1 is what you should get into. Tier 2, in case you have already taken a drop and you don't want to, you know, further uh, le uh, take a drop and you don't want to compromise. And even tier 3 also you can consider if you don't want to move out of your city or you want something comfortable near your place or okay or out of options and you want computer science kind of branches only. Okay. So, tier 1, obviously Allahabad, Gwalior, Lucknow, Jabalpur, Kanchipuram, Pune, Hari uh, Haryana, then obviously Gujarat, Surat and Guwahati. Then you have the other triple ITs in Rajasthan, Trichy, Karnataka, Raichur is there, Chittur, Nagpur, Bhopal, Karnul, Dharwad, Himachal, Vadodara. So many triple ITs are there, Kotiam, Ranchi, West Bengal, Bhagalpur, Agartala and Manipur. So, lot of triple ITs you have options, but obviously tier 1 is the best. But in case you do not get, you have other options as well. Now, let's see the number of seats. There are around 10,000, give or take, okay. Uh, for 2026, it might be around 10,000 seats overall, but obviously not all 10,000 seats will be useful because many of them will be in tier 2, tier 3 also. Plus, computer science related are around 4,000 seats. Now, this is very important. Most of the branches in IIITs are related to IT and computer science, but pure original, the core computer science branch is around 4,000. That does not mean the rest of the uh, seats are useless. They are still related to IT and computer science only. Okay. So, you have a good deal of seats. It's just that you need to be aware and fill it. And basically, this is also to motivate you. Bro, don't give up right now. In case you are feeling I cannot be in the top 100, 500, 1000. There are still many triple ITs waiting for you. Okay. So, this is a very informative session. Now, there are two kinds of reservation. First is the category wise reservation like general is there EWS economically weaker society then NCL okay OBC SC ST PWD 
so they will compromise around you know roughly 50 percent of your reservation but also triple it mandates that there should be 20 percent of female students in total in that particular uh triple it so this is very very important so for especially for all the girl students so you will have a better chance when you are applying through the female category got it okay having said that let's see what will be the safe score this year based on the past trends starting off with tier one then i will go to two and then three observe carefully you'll be happy when i go to tier three because you will see less marks less percentile and that will boost your confidence probably okay so if you talk about the tier one uh, you know triple it's the top ones like Allahabad and Gwalior and all of that they take 99.6 99.5 percentile now from the marks you can expect how much marks you should get barely and the lowest branch anyways it is related to computer science but still 99.5 98.9 so that means really high percentiles in tier one the lowest was i think sonipat okay in haryana 98 percentile you got this college and the lowest branch was got in jabalpur 96.5 percentile so even in tier one there is a good chance that you can get even at 98, 99, 97 percentile also, tier 1 triple it is. So, don't lose hope. Okay. Is that clear? This is in 2025. That was in 2024. To give you a perspective, just to be on the safer side, because these names, so many names might confuse you, because you don't have to focus on, sir, is this good or this good or this good? Okay. That is secondary. But, sir, for now, what should I target? If you want triple it, tier 1, then 98 percentile plus for computer science is mandatory. That means 165 is bare minimum, even in the hardest shift. And to be on the safer side, 200 plus because while writing the paper, you do not know whether it is an easy shift or a hard shift that you get to know after coming out. So your mind should be prepared for 200 plus. But if you want any branch in triple IT, which is also good because mechanical and all is not there. So 150 to 180 will be bare minimum. Is that clear? Let's go to tier 2. So, you have right from Bhopal to Kota to Trichy to Nagpur to Karnul to Raichur, Dharwad, everyone might be aware of uh, some of the triple ITs if you are specially from that state. Okay. Like Karnataka students might be aware of Dharwad, uh, you know, Andhra Telangana students might be knowing about Karnul, right? And uh, Tamil Nadu students might be knowing about Trichy and all of that. So, computer science lowest was at 97 percentile, 0.4. And you can see the other triple IT's were still at 98, 98, 98 percentiles. Lowest branch was still at 96.4 percentile. Okay, this was the latest trend. So, to give you into perspective, tier 2 triple IT's still will need 150 to 180 bare minimum score for computer science. That's 97 percentile plus. If you want any branch, still you will need 140 marks to 160 marks. Okay, that is still around 96 percentile, which is easily achievable. I'm telling you, and already my students are doing that, you know, even though they are starting from scratch. Tier 3, I triple IT Ranchi, Kalyani, Agartala, Bhagalpur, Manipur, all right, many of the Northeastern triple ITs, okay, they were recently established. CSE, 96.2 percentile, last cutoff in this, but still other triple ITs, you can see 97.6, 97.5, 97.1. Now, see, this is very important. You should understand what kind of students are going. Just because it is tier 3 does not mean it is bad. If such high rankers, I mean, it's a big deal, no? 97 percentile, 98 percentile. These students are going there. They must be going by some logic only. So, these students, if they are going, the crowd will be amazing. Just compare that with any random private college where 70 or 80 percentile students are going. That means they did not clear mains. So, this is 100 times better than going to a random college where computer science is offered. Getting my point? Same thing is there for the lowest branch also, still 95.4 percentile. That means you are still in the top 30, 40,000 students in the country. Keep that in mind. So, anyways, triple IT degree holds a value and you will still be recognized and obviously reputation is there. So, my dear students, for tier 3, give or take 150 to 180 marks for computer science, 115 to 140 marks for any kind of branch. So, my dear students, the target is 150 to 200. 150, that means you are going towards some branch, tier 2, tier 3. 200 to be the safest score for 
द टॉप ब्रांच बेसिकली कंप्यूटर साइंस इन द टॉप टीयर वन ट्रिपल आई टीस दैट इज द सिंपल सिंपल सीक्रेट रूल ऑफ थम नाउ आई एम वेरी प्राउड ऑफ माई किड्स हु आर एक्चुअली वर्किंग हार्ड इवन दो दे स्टार्टेड मेन्यू ऑफ देम just few days back for their iit preparation they are doing very well i was just checking the test scores and their percentiles their scores their test performance has been gradually increasing over the past couple of days and they are absolutely loving the sigma batch classes which are perfectly live by their own favorite teachers only and also they are solving the assignments and attending the classes covering exactly those topics which are needed for their je preparation i am very thankful thank you so much guys for putting up such lovely comments and you are enjoying every class i would love to see more such comments you know in the videos below over here and thank you for liking and thank you for sharing and thank you for subscribing this was your captain shreyas signing off